good morning everyone good morning happy monday so yeah this is another live for me it's been a while that i dropped live talk like really live talk so please bear with me this morning i quickly want to talk about making thoughtful decision making thoughtful decision especially as regarding this lifetime journey called marriage you know as a christian i believe so much in lifetime marriage it is not the desire and the plan of god to get married break it get married again break it get married god is a god of consistency okay god is a god of consistency so when you are taking a journey a lifetime journey you want to be particular about taking thoughtful decision welcome everybody joining my life i really appreciate you thoughtful decision is very very important when you are deciding on who when why where you need to sit down pray the Bible say that which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost. Whether he or she is able to complete that which he or she wants to start. Marriage is a journey. It's a building. You want to build a tower. You want to build a peaceful home. You want to build... A home that is fulfilling God's divine purpose. You want to sit down first and count the cost. You know, when I see people talk about love at first sight, when I see people talk about, oh, uh, married on the first meeting, I used to watch, see it on the television. Hmm? The first day they meet, they get married. I just shake my head because it's, you can already predict the end of such journey you can already predict what will happen because it's not a thoughtful journey a thoughtful decision it's just like based on emotion based on uh, something that cannot last infatuation you know so please ladies and gentlemen this lifetime journey that we are talking about should be the journey should start on a thoughtful decision, a prayerful decision, a, you know, mindful decision. You put your mind to it. You ask yourself salient question. You think about it. You look at it from all angles. You ask yourself, will I still be happy with my decision in five years time, in 10 years time, in 15 years time, in 20 years time? It's not a journey, a decision you make rashly. Rush. Rushing. I see we are from Russia. <laughs> you know, there are some brothers out there who just feel, oh, you this is to answer me now. We must get married this year. We must get married this month. Just rushing. The same way those people rushing, most of them want to rush out in life. You think, you sit down, you take thoughtful decision. Whether you are you want to get married, you want to get a job, you want to relocate, you want to do business, you want to anything you want to do, you sit down and take thoughtful decision. When you rush into things, it doesn't help. It doesn't, you know, bring quality into it into into such things. When you want quality. In what you are doing, you need to be thoughtful. Sit down first and count the cost. Count the cost. Do I have all the virtues I need to run this race, to do this? Do I have all the, you know, things I need to take along? A lot of you don't read books. You don't listen to messages. You don't listen to anyone. You want to get married? You don't know anything about building your home. You don't know anything about, you know, managing yourself, your emotion. You just bust out anyhow. Just talk anyhow. It doesn't happen that way. You say, accept me the way I am. 
does not mean that you should remain the way you are. There's always room for change. There's always room for improvement. If some of you should get married the way you are now, you will spoil everything with your own hands. You build your emotion. You build your thoughts. You build your actions. You, you, you take a decision with thoughtfulness. A lot of men out there, they just take rash decisions. They have family. They continue to take rash decisions that will put their family in a big mess. Take decision on relocation without thinking. You take decision on, you know, school to put your children and say mess. Because you have not built yourself to think through things before taking decision, even before the marriage. And so now you are a leader leading a family of four, a family of six. You are just taking rash decision that is putting your family in mess, in depth, in trouble, in issues. You are from one issue to the other. As you are coming out of one issue, you are getting into another. Because you don't take thoughtful, prayerful decision. You are not, you have not built yourself to take thoughtful and prayerful decisions. You don't sit, you don't think, you don't count the cost, you don't look at things from all angles and be able to assess, analyze critically to be able to take the best decision that will favor you and your family. It starts from now that you are single. No magic happens on the altar. Let me tell you, there is no magic that happens to people on the altar. There is no magic that happens to people once they get a job. It is what you put in, garbage in, garbage out. It is the personality you are taking into that marriage, into that business, into that job that will determine what you get from it. It is how well you have taken thoughtful decision, prayerful decision that will determine what you get from it. Even though there is nothing wrong with the institution of marriage, marriage is beautiful, but it is about you what are you taking along what are you bringing into it how well are you taking thoughtful critical prayerful decision that is what makes the whole difference there is nothing magical that will happen you are the one that will make something different to happen yes based on how you take your decision so please today build yourself to always think through about things Pray through before taking your decision. Don't allow anybody to rush you. Don't allow anybody to push you. Don't allow anybody to talk through to you. Talk you into things. People that talk you into things, they will not be there with you on the job. They will not be there with you in the marriage. They will not be there with you in the business. Don't allow people to always talk you into things. Push you into things. Force you into things. Always take your personal, thoughtful, and prayerful decision. Even after you have received counseling here and there, messages here and there still so sit down and think whether you are able to build to the to the end to build a structure that will stand when the wind blow so that's what i have for you today that quit taking rash decision quit taking rush decision quit taking pushed pushing things on you dumping things on you Begin to take prayerful decision, thoughtful decision, critically analyzed decision. That way you will fall into less mistakes, less mess, and less issues for your life. I pray God will help you to always think through, pray through before you take your decision. Especially when it comes to lifetime journey, like marriage. God will help you. Okay? So... Thank you very much. Do you get one or two things from this video? Let me know. Do well to like, comment, share, invite your friend on this page. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.